I'm rerunning all of Pokemon Journeys. Last time, Ash met Hop, Go and Sonya learned more about the Darkest Day, and Ash had a rematch against Koga. What will happen next? Stay tuned to find out. The Cerise Lab is haunted. Every member of the team has recently been experiencing supernatural phenomena they can't explain. Obviously, everyone is freaking out, but after calming down, figure out it's most likely some sort of Pokemon. And so, they go search for the mysterious guest. Ash and Go decide to make it a competition. They decide whoever finds the Pokemon first catches it. Ash, determined, eventually finds a ruckus happening in the Pokemon Park, where he sees a glimpse of a shadow. Ash tries to approach it, but it flies away into town, and so Ash follows after it. Eventually, he catches up to the shadow to find a Gengar. Ash asks Gengar why he's causing trouble, but it starts to attack him. Ash won't fight the Pokemon, however, taking all of its attacks. Gengar is shocked by this, and as this is happening, a laugh is heard. A trainer comes up to Ash who Gengar goes near, but they just hit the Pokemon. He tells Ash that Gengar is a piece of work, and he left it at the abandoned building years ago and wasn't coming back for it. We then learn Gengar's past, about how it was abandoned by his trainer at the building, which would become Cerise Labs. Ash is infuriated and tells the trainer to battle him and Gengar right now. The battle is between Ash and Gengar and the trainer and his Runa Regis. The battle is sort of intense, but relatively one-sided, as Gengar demonstrates far superior strength. Eventually, Ash and Gengar pull off the win, and the trainer runs away in embarrassment. Ash then turns to Gengar. I think we make a pretty good team! So Gengar, wanna come with me? Ash catches Gengar, adding a new ally to his team. Ash returns to the lab with the Pokemon, and Go, while disappointed he lost the contest, is happy Gengar has a trainer it truly trusts. Motostoke Stadium is packed, as it's time for the Champions League match between Ash and Hop. Ash and Riolu are ready for some payback. This time, they'll win. Ash makes his way to the stadium and stares down Hop. I've been hyped up all week for this. You ready for another loss, Ash? In your dreams, I'm taking this one. We'll see. All right, mate, let's get things started. The battle begins with Gengar vs Dubwool. The battle is off to a great start, just like last time Hop demonstrates why he's a member of the Galar Pentagon, but Ash showcases why he's worthy of his champion status. However, while Dubwool has power, Gengar has power and speed, and so takes the win. Next up is Hop Cinderace, who was able to match Gengar's abilities, and so quickly takes the weakened Pokemon out. Hop then returns Cinderace as the two trainers both send out their next Pokemon. It's Pikachu vs Cramorant. The battle starts off incredibly surprising, as Pikachu attempts to use Quick Attack on the Pokemon, but is then caught in its mouth. Cramorant then flings Pikachu back, causing great damage, but Ash's ace won't go down so easily. It's weakened, but can still fight. Eventually, Ash commands Pikachu to bounce off the stadium walls with Pikachu's Electro Web, landing a critical blow on Cramorant, knocking it out. Hop then sends Cinderace back out, who is once again easily able to overpower a weakened Pokemon. Pikachu is strong, that's for sure, but Cramorant's attack caught the Pokemon off guard, and now he's suffering the consequences. Cinderace takes down Pikachu, leaving Ash with only one more Pokemon. This time, let's win! Riolu, I choose you! Riolu comes out and the two rivals stare down each other. They immediately enter a bruising conflict. Riolu may be small, but he packs a punch, and is able to keep up with Cinderace's speed and strength due to the Pokemon being a little weak, from its previous battles with Pikachu and Gengar. The two decide not to Gigantamax or Dynamax their Pokemon, and so end the battle with a clash between Reversal and Viral Ball. Both are directly hit and both are knocked out, making the battle a draw. The crowd cheers at the epic battle they just witnessed. Hop and Cinderace come over to Ash and Riolu. 
You two clearly did some intense training. I was not expecting that. Thanks. You and your team were awesome too. Let's both get stronger and battle again. Then, the winner of that battle will get the chance to enter the Masters Tournament and battle Lee. Sounds good. Unbeknownst to the two of them, Leon is watching from a spectator room with a huge grin on his face, as he's happy that Hop finally has a rival to push him to new heights. After the battle, Ash and Go are at the Pokemon Center relaxing when they encounter a shy and timid Sobble. Unknown to the two of them, it's being chased down by Team Rocket, who want to evolve it into Inteleon through the EXP candies they've gathered, adding a new powerful Pokemon to Team Rocket's Galar army. Go tries to befriend Sobble, but its shy nature is making it quite difficult. Eventually, Team Rocket appears and Go protects Sobble from the Pokemon surprise attack. Go then sends out Reboot and the two work alongside Sobble for victory. Team Rocket is blasted off once again and Go then comes up to Sobble. Hey, Sobble, I know I'm not the strongest trainer, but I think you're pretty cool. So, do you want to come with me? Golden catches Sobble, adding a new addition to his team. So Reese has called Ash and Go into the lab center to inform them his daughter Chloe, who is currently studying abroad in Kanto, is visiting the lab for the weekend. Ash is excited to learn what Cerise's daughter is like, but Go is clearly distraught by this and quickly runs away. Cerise has a somber look on his face, and Ash goes after his friend. He eventually finds him in the park with Raboot. He asks Go what's wrong, and Go tells him everything about him and Chloe. Go reveals that when he was little, he wasn't good at socializing. Nobody wanted to hang out with the weird kid who could only talk about Pokemon. Besides Chloe, despite everything, she was the only one who wanted to hang out with him. They were best friends, and yet, Go couldn't see what they had. He explains that he had eventually become so invested in his Pokemon work that he shut Chloe out to the point where he didn't even bother to say goodbye to her when she left for Kanto. I'm scared, Ash. I, I don't know what to say to her. I'm sure you'll make amends with her. After all, you are her friend. Surely she would understand if you just give it a chance. But only if you take the first step. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. The next day, Chloe arrives back home, and all the members of the Cerise lab are happy to see her. They also all meet her partner Pokemon Eevee, who she caught in Kanto. She also recognizes Ash from the Champions League, and the two get to know each other. When asked about school, Chloe says it's going good, but to be honest, she's only studying because she doesn't know what she wants to do, and is hoping school will help her find a goal. So recent Ash guarantees she'll find her own path, which Chloe appreciates. While this is going on, Go ignores her the whole time, trying to muster up the courage to approach her. During the night, he finally gets the chance as Chloe is admiring the stars. So, uh, those stars sure are pretty, huh? <laughs> yeah. Look, Chloe, I'm... I'm sorry. Huh? I've been a jerk to you. No, I've been worse than a jerk. I can't believe I didn't say goodbye to you. It was wrong, super wrong. For the past two years, I've regretted it. I was too clouded by my dream that I ended up costing my friendship with you. The only one who for a long time was the single person who actually looked at me. Go! <laughs> Chloe, are you okay? It's just, I'm so happy. I thought I did something wrong that you hated me. Just hearing those words, it feels like a weight was lifted off my shoulders. I could never hate you! Please don't ever see that again! <laughs> I won't. Not anymore. So, you finally found another friend, huh? Yeah. Ash is great. Treasure him. After all, he's smart. He sees just how great you are. Chloe... Let's get back inside. It's getting cold. Plus, we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you're right. After the weekend is over, Chloe says farewell to the Cerise Lab Gang, ready to continue her studies in Kanto. She hugs Go before she leaves, telling him to open up. You better be an even better professor next time I see you, understand? I won't let you down, Chloe, and that is a promise. 
This whole weekend has really helped Go grow into his own, and now he's ready to try and be more open with others, as it will only help him on his way to becoming the world's greatest Pokemon professor. Ashton receives another notification on his Rotom phone for the Champions League. His next matchup is against Grimsley of the Unova Elite Four. Who will come out on top?